Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jordan Elder filling in for Darian Troner tonight. We are just a few hours away from the end of Fiesta 2024. Most events went on smoothly and safely for the last 10 days, but last night there was an exception. Right now you are taking a live look at historic Market Square where Fiesta de los Reyes is happening right now. Just under 24 hours ago though, gunshots interrupted the celebrations in this very area. Take a listen. <coughs> This was the disturbing scene as an 18 year old and a 20 year old started shooting at each other. You hear the shots ring out, the crowd ducks for cover and officers run in. You can even see a mother picking up her child and running for safety at one point. Here's police chief William McManus talking about how all of this started. Two individuals that were shot were young, young men. Um, both were armed and shooting at each other. Chief McManus says two people were killed and four others were injured. A 20 year old man was hit and died at the hospital. Then officers shot and killed an 18 year old suspect. Four bystanders also heard in all of this. But despite that incident, it was business as usual at Market Square with Fiesta goers back in full force at that very spot for the final night of the party. Fox SA's Matt Roy joins us live now from Market Square. Matt, you've been out talking to people all day. What are they saying about all this? Well, Jordan, a lot of people obviously haven't let the shooting affect them or their good time. But for others, it was a shock to the system, especially some of the vendors who say that they might actually rethink coming back next year. For 45 years, Delfina Leva and her family have been vendors at Fiesta. From gorditas to frescas, tacos to kebabs, they do it all. What does Fiesta mean to you? Um, family time, so we new people. We always make new friends from other places. But after Saturday night shooting happened right outside of one of her family's booths. Does it make you not want to do this again next year? Yes. <laughs> I'll be honest, yes. It's, I, will, I will be scared to do this again. I would we just like to everyone to be safe, everyone to be safe, but it's fiesta. It's so people to come and enjoy. On Sunday, many people were doing just that, enjoying themselves, despite the violence that happened less than 24 hours earlier. Yeah, I love fiesta, the food, the beer, everything. I love fiesta. It's crazy everywhere. I mean, what are you gonna do? Just, you know, stay inside and, you know, be afraid. I mean, you can walk outside and go to the mall and be the same situation. Unfortunately, this isn't the first shooting at Market Square during Fiesta. In fact, it happened last year. You know, it's a little, um, a little sad to hear, you know, all the activities that have been happening, but it's unfortunate and it's a little embarrassing at the same time. Now, what makes Fiesta Fiesta is the people. And if things like this keep happening, people like Leva and Falcon might not stick around. Uh, Nothing this? like these happened before. Right. You know, we had everything was really nice. Now, Fiesta de los Reyes here at Market Square is one of those Fiesta events that's free to get into and doesn't have a lot of the other safety precautions that other Fiesta events do. Falcon says in the future, if her and her family are to continue being vendors at uh, Fiesta de los Reyes, they're going to want to see more safety precautions so everyone can have a safe and very fun Fiesta time. Reporting in Market Square, I'm Matt Roy, Fox News at 9. Matt, thank you. Following that incident, Fiesta de los Reyes organizers released this statement. They say safety is their top priority. The organization is adjusting their schedule for the last night of Fiesta, so tonight they will close at 11 p.m. instead of midnight. They add, quote, our deepest condolences go out to the families and friends of those affected by this senseless violence. Well, this is not the first time that things have turned violent at Market Square during Fiesta. Last year, like Matt mentioned, there was another altercation that turned into a shooting. You might remember this scene. Last year, 25-year-old Omar Rodriguez was shot in the chest by a man police say he was arguing with. This happened on South Concho Street, not far away from Market Square. Rodriguez spent weeks in the intensive care unit and had to undergo three surgeries. The suspect took off after that shooting. Now, in both of these cases, police believe the shootings were isolated. Now, just like we did last year, we're looking into what's being done to make sure that you are safe. 
Each Fiesta event determines their own safety measures, so we looked into all of them for you. We know at Oyster Bake, Taste of New Orleans, and the King William Fair, you can have your bag checked. Meanwhile, at Niosa, you are required to have a small bag, but they say they prefer if that bag is clear. And last week, we introduced you to SAPD's Raven Unit, which is a team of officers with drones that keep an eye on the crowds. Lots of officers are on hand for Fiesta, and they spend months preparing for every possible response that would be needed. Now, after last year's Market Square shooting, I asked Fiesta Commander Hector Salas if metal detectors or wands would help detect the guns that people bring in. Here's what he said. You no, know, that, that may be something that they, they do in, in the future, but as far as right now, Market Square is an open event. It's, it's intended to be a, a fun family event. Now, last night's incident created a lot of stir on social media, with many of you also calling for more security. Jolene Gutierrez responded to our Facebook page saying, quote, And this is why I don't go to big events like this. People ruin the fun for everyone else, sadly. Another viewer, Solana Lopez, posted, quote, They need to fence it in and charge to go in so they can check for weapons like they do at all the other events. And Jen Cruz wrote in part, quote, Trying to do something for free and some don't know how to act. Others on social media praising police officers for running in to handle the situation so quickly, like you see in that video. Sonia Ibarra says, quote, kudos to the PO, meaning police officer. He didn't hesitate to run to the scene. Roseanne Sandoval says, quote, thank you, SAPD. All these kids are really ruining everything. We can't enjoy downtown like we used to because of them. Don't know how to act, end quote. You can chime in on this situation on our social media pages as well, or you can go to our website, foxsanantonio.com.